Just two days into two-a-days, the Argos called off afternoon practice. Apparently, too many tender-armed quarterbacks. We throw so much that the quarterbacks very early in camp, uh, all their arms get very sore and tired. And if we just keep pushing them through that, then they're just going to get worse. Of course, nothing is worse than replacing one's number one quarterback, which in the Argos case is number two, Doug Flutie. And with number two now in Buffalo, the number one man in Toronto is now Kerwin Bell, who comes to the Argos from the Colts of the NFL, where, by coincidence, he was the number two man last year. The good thing about it is I've been around. I'm a veteran, and, and I'm, young guys may would try to fit their their game to toward what Doug did, but I'm, I know better than that. I'm not Doug Flutie, and I can't do those things, so I've got to play my game. A prototypical pocket passers game, that same game Flutie played but without his scrambling ability. Kerwin does not have that ability, but he is a strong-armed kid that sees very well, and hopefully he'll be able to get rid of the ball sometimes when Doug couldn't. I can be successful doing it my way, and um, the fans just got to realize that, that we can be successful doing it this way just like Doug was doing it the way he did it, and he was a fantastic player, but um, you know now we've got a new offense, a new quarterback, and, and that with the athletes we got on this team and the players that Coach Matthews has surrounded us with, uh, we've got opportunity to win another one. It's just a be a different fashion that we go about doing it. And having the same weapons to work with, Toronto is forecasting flutie type numbers from Bell. 5,000 yards and 40 touchdowns. Well, if this is my first year in the league, I'd, I'd sort of be <laughs> skeptical about it, you know, because um, I've never seen numbers like that as a quarterback. But but to tell you the truth, you know, after what happened in Edmonton, um, the situation I was sort of in and with the, the athletes I was in uh, there with compared to what's here, uh, I know what I can do. Now it's just a matter of going out and doing it. Rob Sinclair for Sportsline.